Sarah Bareilles, welcome to the Daily Social Distancing Show. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. I'm glad that you are here because you're one of the people who very early on had COVID and everybody ha experienced different symptoms. I've heard some artists who've said that their vocal cords were never the same. Are you completely fine now? I, I somehow escaped relatively unscathed, actually. I was so, so lucky. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a very mild case really early on last March. I had been in London and I was doing a show I wrote called Waitress in the West End. And I think pretty much everyone in our cast got it. Wow. And, um, and it was, it, for me, it was pretty mild. But, you know, I, I lost a friend to COVID. Nick Cordero was wow. one of our company members and, and we lost him to COVID. So I, it's, it's extraordinarily serious. But, you know, it feels like we, we, we can kind of see the finish line here a little bit, definitely. maybe. Yeah, definitely. It, it feels like we're now all optimistically seeing the lights at the end of the tunnel, trying to come out of it, you know? Um, you are here because um, you have a few new projects coming up, which is, I feel like, the perfect time for new life, you know, as, as we're stepping out into the world. You're somebody who's been successful in almost everything you've done. I mean, from New York Times bestseller to winning a Grammy, nominated for Emmys and Tonys, everything you touch turns to gold. This new show that you have on Peacock, Girls 5 Ever, seems like it's gonna be no different, not just because of your talent, but because of the talent of the cast and it is executive produced by Tina Fey. Tell me a little bit about this magical co connection. I mean, this legitimately was like being getting a, a message from heaven. I was in, it was the middle of a lockdown. I, like so many people, was struggling deeply emotionally with what was going on, you know, globally and certainly within our country. And the disaster of the past administration, and. I was in the depths of despair, as so many found themselves, and I got a phone call from Tina Fey. And I feel like if, if that's a lifeboat, if that's the kind of lifeboat I get once <laughs> in my life, I'm like thrilled about it. So um, Tina and Meredith Scardino, who's the creator of Girls by Baba, um, called me and offered me the role of Dawn, who's um, you know a member of this 90s girl group who have had their shot at fame and it somehow miraculously comes around again where they get a second chance and they're in their middle age and and have moved on to families and responsibilities and they're deciding to go for it and it's just it was such a gift so much fun yeah it it, it isn't just fun to 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 watch i mean the music is fantastic the performances are amazing you know the premise is is really fun Oftentimes when I, when I interview people, they're playing a version of themselves in the successful sense. Here you are playing, if I, if I could say this, you are playing a, um, a much less successful version of yourself, essentially. You, you know, you, you, you're playing in this world where it's like things have not gone right. I'd love to know how, what that was like for you to play. <laughs> but, well, you know how, I, it doesn't matter what it looks like from the outside. Like it might look like my life is really shiny, but we all are just, I'm just a self-loathing machine on the inside. Oh, wow. Ultimately, <laughs> ultimately, I feel like, actually, I relate a lot to this character. You know, she's kind of a mess, but she tries really hard and she really loves her family. She's very loyal, but she makes mistakes and bad fashion decisions. And I feel like it's, a, it's, it's loosely based on my life. Um, because you, you, it feels like you're doing it all. You know, I, I know nobody's life is perfect, but it is fun to see somebody who's constantly challenging themselves, finding new avenues for what they want to do and how to express themselves. I mean, I know you worked in, in producing Little Voice on, on Apple Plus, you know, for instance, just, yeah. just stretching how you do things. And one of the biggest things your fans would always wonder is, does this mean that you are leaving music? No, no, a thousand percent no. And, you know, I think before I moved to New York, I found myself in this place where I just, it wasn't that I was unhappy, I was just, stagnated and and it felt like it was time to take some left turns and to take up some risks and I have found in my career that the, the more that I do that's a little bit outside of my comfort zone the better time I have the more I learn from everything so we're all in this ride together <laughs> I feel like that that makes the title of your new album so perfect amidst the chaos you're gonna be hosting a concert at um, the Hollywood Bowl 
you know, for, for musicians, for performers like myself, I mean, we haven't been out, audiences haven't been out. The, the, that sense of normalcy has yet to fully come back. What are you hoping to do with this show? And, and why did you decide, you know what, now's the time for me to put a performance together? Well, so we recorded this, we recorded the live album. We went on the Amidst the Chaos tour at the end of 2019 with all intentions towards releasing this live record um, last year during 2020. And of course, you know, the lockdown happened and it felt completely inappropriate to do anything self-promotional. But um, so here we are at the, you know, on the cusp of things sort of coming back to life. And um, it, I wanted to pair the release of this record, this live record that was was recorded at the end of 2019 um, with a little bit of a, a return to the bowl. And the, the biggest takeaway for me was that even these incredible venues, these like cathedrals of music, they don't carry the same meaning without people. So right. I mean, we, took, we took the stage and it was, it was beautiful to be there and it was so special to play an excerpt of the concert. But at the end of the day, I was like, wow, I have never felt the absolute of an audience more and so all you know it I turned it into just one big PA vaccinations we're so close to getting back into real life and reality with each other which is the thing I miss the most and so many people of course you know artists musicians poets technicians crew vendors you know everybody's waiting to go back to work most definitely, most definitely. Sarah, thank you so much for taking the time today. Congratulations on everything you've done. Um, good luck with uh, the show on Peacock. Good luck with the new album. And um, hopefully we'll see you on the other side of the pandemic in person. Thank you so much.